Hey guys, Dan here, and uh, today I am going to do a let's play of Dark Souls 3 New Game Plus. Now, since it's New Game Plus, everything's going to be harder, and which then means that I've also done uh, the standard gameplay of Dark Souls. So, Dark Souls 3 was obviously a, a fairly difficult game for me, but there were some moments which I found it too easy and some which I didn't. So, uh, let's just see how uh, New Game Plus goes, shall we? Oh, anything other than that, but like, it's just the one that shouldn't use it. Now this sort of starts off at every, um, game that you start off with in Dark Souls, like, you come out of the grave as the bell rings, since you're basically undead, or you are undead, you're basically about it. But since it's New Game Plus, I have got armour, which you wouldn't really normally start off with, since how I am, um, a knight class. I don't know. And the weapons and the armor, and the which I'm really using, really won't really change really too much. The weapons yeah, might change a bit as I've switched to the Hollow, great, Hollow Slayer Great Sword, which is especially effective against the un, against Hollows. So, like the starting off enemies and some of the enemies in um, a few areas hey, Dad, later. Because, like, if you like, I can't, I can't, like, it does like over 200 damage from what I can tell, from what I perceive me. Uh, so this is a um, recorded message, this is like a recording over the gameplay, just because I wasn't really too sure how to do it. So if it doesn't really work, um, if it doesn't really go too well or seem very good, you know why. But um, the Hollow Play Great Sword is a weapon which you can get once you've beaten one of the bosses. And like you get an item from that boss which also... Which allows you to use boss souls to make powerful weapons. And the item you get from okay, the item you get from the boss which allows you to use its soul to make that weapon is the third boss in the game. Wait. And now here I'm coming up to one a fairly powerful enemy and it's like a giant crystal lizard monster. Now the reason why I've switched to um, this grey axe is because it's actually like the strongest weapon which I have available to me and I have a feeling it might actually be the strongest weapon in game because like it does over like 400 damage against certain enemies just like really powerful it's hard to hit with but cause, like it takes up so much stamina and hasn't got really much of a broad hit range and once you're able to hit you do loads of damage and then you get like critical hits and then like the enemies might as well have just died like that monster because though those crystal monsters there aren't too many of them but they are that like, the reason why they aren't there aren't too many of them is because of how like, powerful they are now uh, i did find this ring and i have a look at it and it boosts resistances to um i think it was like curse lightning and fire i'll correct it if i'm wrong but um so I have a few weapons on me, but some of them I don't really use because, like, I just don't really see the point in them. But some of them I keep on me because, like, they will be useful in the future against certain bosses. But nothing really, nothing really too spectacular in the beginning area because this is basically just like the tutorial area for new for newcomers of the um, series. Now there I did get um, a chime which is used for miracles, but I don't really use miracles, I'm more of a, um, a user of pyromancies. Because fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here we nah, you can I see Lothric Castle from <laughs> a distance, and Lothric Castle is very important Where's to, the, to the, like, the game, as it's like the most important part. And so are bonfires, because like, bonfires allow you to like, travel between, uh, between, between like, areas. What is that? And Lothric uh, Castle is like trying. the main area. Because like after you the finish the tutorial area, yeah, you can go like to um, an area in Lothric Castle, Easy, and then like you gotta go to other areas, yeah. and then you come back to Lothric Castle <laughs> to then like finish it off. <laughs> so you know, there's nothing. Like I said, there's nothing really too special about this area, other than the fact that I am wrecking everything because I'm like really powerful. I've got like 30 something strength at this point in time during this video. Um, but yeah, the, the enemies are just weak to begin with. They get they get stronger 
Because like every new game plus the enemies get stronger yeah, until like new shield. game plus seven so or something what, like that. In which case they stop Bam. becoming they stronger, them. but that doesn't stop you from becoming stronger. So like at new game like twelve or something, you could be like really powerful as the enemies won't like cap with you. They are like well no, they don't become stronger as you become stronger, they no, just no, cap no, at no, like no. new game seven. Yeah, you know no no actually. Oh, new game plus seven. But before I uh, started New Game Plus 7, yeah, I'd basically done everything that I could have. I've got, I got all the Esther Shards, all the um, Under Bones. Now, what Smash you are, you always get Undead Bones Shards. It's the Undead Bones something. I think it's the Undead Bones Shards. I think. The stuff you burn at the bonfire. Now, this is the first boss. He does sort of appear later as like a stronger form. But he's not very powerful mm -hmm. since how I am doing like a good 500 damage per hit. Because like, I've hit him like three times and I've already done like a I'm quarter of really his really That's just how powerful I am at this point in time. Isn't he even that, like, and with the amount of health I've got, I don't really die too easily. Like yeah. And this is where the creepy part comes out. Like, he just becomes demented and becomes icky with black stuff. But he still keeps his like main body and weapon, it's just like it's really weird. Oh well yeah, down he goes. Oh dude is easy. Air of fire destroyed and I gained that coil sword that was in him. Um, with the bonfire oh, yeah. and my empty from restored. Which now means that my health has been increased and I sort of burn a bit. Like, like part of my um armor is like on fire. It's, it's better to be seen if armor which have like Cape sort of have got a fair amount of like cloth in them. Now I might end up stopping occasionally because like that's just me checking how long I've been recording for. Because like I didn't quite get the um, PlayStation recording this thing until like a few episodes in, and then I just realised I'm not that bloody idiot about it. But we are almost yeah, at a very really important good. location. I just randomly kicked. But uh, we are near yes. one of the yes. most important locations yes. in Dark Souls 3, as it's the hub, which, which is laid, which is called um, Firelink Shrine. For those of you who have played Dark Souls 3, you will understand it. But for those who haven't and are thinking about getting it, I, I would jump. definitely recommend the game. It's a really good game, but you will get frustrated a lot. So like if you do like these kinds of games, I would definitely recommend it. But if you're not really into it, I Whoa, wouldn't really. Whoa! A thousand bother. damage! I got a thousand damage in a one hit. Oh yeah, this guy. I just like love the way he's just sitting there. Like you could have just kicked him off, and I'm just like, nah. I'm just like full on destroy him, and he just falls down. Oh, he's dropped the thing. Like, How do you do <laughs> but then again, like, no matter how I would have killed him, he would have fallen off. So there's not really oh, much I could have done like that. Full on stabbed him in the now I'm not actually going to go straight into Final Shrine as there is a fair amount of stuff I can do I, there wasn't just outside of it. And this is where I got surprised by oh, a dog, dog a, an undead dog. I don't actually know what they're called. All I know is that undead dogs. I might look up what their name is, but I'm not really too bothered. And there's an ember, because ember's like really useful, because they restore your ember. But the, it's an item, and you only have limited numbers, even though I have like 70 odd currently in the game. Uh, but the shield that I've currently got is a very useful shield. And I also have a ring, which does like a very similar effect to the shield. But the shield is labelled as the shield of want. And it doesn't provide, it provides okay. decent protection. Why that? Because, I don't know, I just But, um, it also increases the amount of swords you get from enemies. Now, at the moment, I literally yes. just picked the sword okay. and was trying to fight this dude with him, with it. Because, uh, this dude is like, um, an NPC, like, he's like a player, but he's not an actual player. Cause he's like, um, he's very much an enemy, which acts very much player-like, seems how... He, he, he's very, like, he's got this humanoid look, and he's even, like, using weapons and armor, as if we were. Yeah. Because, like, he's also using, like, a special attack that you can use. And I'm just getting wrecked by him, because, like, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing, and I almost died there. 
but then I hear the like, I ain't dying today. And then, like, I even walked into oh, these man. enemies without thinking, and, like, they didn't even respond until I hit them. But I'm pretty sure I did take him down eventually. He was a bit of a tough dude, though. I'm sure I would have done better if I had used, like, a f either a faster weapon or, um, my great axe. Next my time great I find axe. Yeah, I think is, like, a bit really powerful. Um, but now we're heading into Firelink, as there's nothing else I can really do outside of the shrine. And I just equipped these dual blades, since, like, they, they're, too, they're decent. But, I don't know, I'm not really into the dual blades kind of thing. And this is where that coiled sword goes, as it acts, as, like, they put, as it activates this bonfire. And this bonfire is the most, well, at least, I personally think it is the most important bonfire. Lords have left their friends, they must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at the side. So she's literally just telling you the main part of the game of you need to find the Lord of Cinder, return them to their throne in order to do, to link the first flame. Because that's like important to Dark Souls and everything related to that. But um, I'm pretty sure. I level up my strength loads because I want to be able to use that great axe. You saw that axe, um, the black one, which I used against the boss. Yeah, I want to be able to use that in one hand because if I'm using that in one hand, I can then also have a shield out as well, which then means that I'm able to protect myself more instead of just using that as a protection, a form of protection. Now I was thinking of upgrading these, but once I like worked out which weapons I was going to really use, I decided, much, should I really use those or not? So, like, I don't know. It was probably just a bad choice on my part. But then again, eh, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it currently, whilst I'm talking about this. So, like, this is, this moment here is when I'm starting, I'm saving the recording and going back into the recording because like, you just saw the flame sort of change its animation because like I had to restart the recording and stuff like that but here I'm just putting stuff away into my um, storage box that like, I don't really need and then I'll head off on to the next area of the game which is called High Wall of Lothric. Now this area not very difficult, probably just as easy as the first area because it's mostly it's you know second area in the game it's gonna have to be easy because like you can't just throw in like really difficult enemies and expect them to do well like newcomers of the game but like pros of the game would just be able to do like run through this area like really easily now, I, I'm not I'm, I'm decent at that sort of really. I wouldn't say I'm like oh my god I'm not the best person ever because I'm really I know I'm not but in um, this game does like it really does look really good. No, I mean, you might not be able to see it like too well, but like when you get into areas, it's just like oh my god. And there are some areas which I didn't even re realize were there until like I actually looked. Because like if I look up here, that the very tallest point up there, that is where one of the Lords of Cinders actually reside. And like that's where their boss fight is. And those two bridges so are like good. also very important because one of them holds oh, another and boss, bridge, and the other one is like the path up to, like, well, up to that boss, up to the um, Lords of Cinder. Yep. And it's so up to a Lord of Cinder, not up to the Lords of Cinder, because they're well, the Lords of Cinder are scattered out throughout the game, which is why you basically just need to go everywhere. Not and the new bonfire has been lit. Now this area does introduce some new enemies as we now have stronger archers instead of those who are cloaked. Uh, the dogs aren't really a new enemy as we saw them earlier, but these are like praying hollows because like, they don't really want to fight you unless like, like say like you hit them with like a really weak attack, that's when they start fighting you. But unless you do that, they really wouldn't attack you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that dog is in the wall and spazzing out. Did you see that? That was a that was weird. You know, the dogs are fast and can get quite annoying, relatively easy. Here's a new enemy though. He's like um, a really big hollow with like a great, with a, with a great axe. He is pretty tough and hits hard. So I'd recommend uh, staying out of the way of his axe and getting him from behind. 
this guy is um, another tall hollow, but this time, you know, the halberd. Which I think is in, like, extra reach. And I think he's already got the extra reach. Why is he so big, seems how, like, you're... Like, two, like, you're three quarters of his height. I don't now see here, any you want to take out the um, brain hollow here, like, really quickly. If you don't, he... They like, definitely don't want to let us run there. Uh, ...to, like, not take him out straight away. He would turn into, like, a really... He would turn into, like, a, a big black mass of that weird stuff you saw happen to the first boss, but you know how you saw him, like, turn into that weird black gunky snaky thingy with that extra arm. Yeah, that happens to certain of these hollows in this area. Now the reason why they're called hollows is because like, they basically just turn like soulless and sort of... I don't know you know how to describe it. Oh, in this case, they don't really know what they're doing as like... The hollow's weapon of choice will be um, a broken straight sword. Emily, I can't really show you it very well since I'm not using either a straight sword or a broken straight sword. But it's still just like, it's a really poor weapon. I think I have a few of them in my storage box, which is like, why do you that thing? But this is the actual way you need to go, because your way is just like a bit of a bonus part to get like a bow. But the um, hollows are a very easy way to get um, a good couple souls relatively easily, as they are basically just sitting there waiting to be hit. And if you notice, there is a dead dragon just sitting there. And that, that enemy with the lantern, that he screeches. They told me to. And that alerts um, certain hollows to um, attack you. And you're basically like um, coming in the and then trying to do something like you're like, just trying to kill these to get into like, the main areas. And there was like some form of lore to this game about like, um, there's like a group who want the um, eternal flame or something like that. I think it might be either the first flame or like, I don't know what it's what called, but like the flame that you're trying to problem. restore. There are some people who want it to be restored and some that don't and want like eternal darkness. And I have a feeling that like, majority of hollows are probably wanting the darkness to come. See how they look like they're praying to something. Can't quite tell what they're praying to. But um, in the late area of Lost Rick, you also uh, you also find um, dead creatures that have already been killed, which have like already been killed since uh, you find them dead. Um, it's not actually yeah, it's a fair distance from where I am currently, but they're basically like. They're, they're, they're called pilgrims, but I have a feeling they're more it's on the floor. Than they are. Like, you'll, you'll get to see them properly in a minute. And here I almost died because I almost fell off the edge. Like, I didn't quite land that perfectly. And I didn't quite see what that item was. I think it's just some fire bombs. I'll correct you. Yeah. Yeah. I did because I didn't think attention. Yay, But um, unless you have a shield you don't really block very well. Uh, that, that was definitely a fireball, I definitely saw that. Ooh. But, um, that dropping down there, grabbing that item, it's, it, like, dropping down does take your health, but, like, not too much, unless you drop, like, from, from like, a certain height. Now, these, en these are new enemies, as they're, like, the hollow soldiers, just with, um, a large shield and spear. And the reason why they have a large shield is because, um, you can use spears, even when your guard is up. So it's just like, that is really useful against enemies and it's really useful for enemies against you. And here is a, 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 a dragon. It's, it's kind of killing it. But thankfully, because I get out the way of its fire breath, it then kills all the enemies, including him. <laughs> and he's got it right there. He burned. Burned to death, lad. Now there are loads of items there, which I might get, I don't actually know, but down here, here's a tricky enemy to kill. That chest, ain't a chest, it's actually a mimic. Now mimics are fairly powerful enemies which disguise themselves as chests, that way if you open them, they then bite the crap out of you, which is why you always want to look at the chain on the um, right side of the chest, like from the direction you'd normally open it from. And if the chain's pointing backwards, it's a safe oh, chest. And if it's pointing forwards, then you then you might want to hit it or use an undead hunter charm. I think that's what they're called, as they put the mimic to sleep. 
And if you saw that, it did a bloody karate esque wow. kick, which drained loads of my health. Because the mimics are powerful enemies, and they're really creepy. The sounds they make, it's just their laughter. And the way they look, they're just, oh, they're just disgusting. And I did get sort of half scared when I saw it coming up the stairs, because I didn't realise it was there. And this mimic chased me for ages. And the shadow. If you saw the shadow there, you sort of see saw like how it glitched a bit. And like this is where I'm just like panicking just to try and get away from it. And like, I, I climbed the ladder just to get away from it. But it still manages to land a, like, a heavy hit on me. Like, if you're able to um, get away from the mimic for long enough, it will eventually um, sort of go back into chest form, I guess. Instead of having its arms and legs out, which will then allow you to get in another like few steps of it. But for me, it didn't actually do that, so I literally just had to find a way to hit it. And it took me ages to like sort of work out the best way. But once I do get down there, I drop down onto a. I, I, okay, first of all, I try to like make it go back into chest form, but just walking around it. Then I press the wrong button and did a special attack. Now that special attack can do a load of damage if you hit it on an enemy, which is like say weak to lightning and slash, for example. Because there are like there are there are many kinds of attacks as slash, pierce, and I think there are things like blunt attacks, like bash attacks, like when you punch something or you use a club against an enemy. I tend to use weapons that do slash and pierce because like the standard straight sword you get from being a knight that kills slash and pierce. Now if you saw there, I dropped down and did like um, a slam attack from dropping and that did over a thousand damage on the mimic which led to it being killed so easily. Um, this is those no, drop attacks are like the strongest kind of attack you'll ever you'll ever get in the game. As like you're basically using your power and gravity to your advantage. And like you basically just drop down and use yeah. I don't know you know how to describe it other than you use gravity to your advantage and you just drop out a fair amount of fair amount of force. But um, this, where that mimic was, it dropped me a, a battle, uh, it dropped me an axe, which does dark damage. Now, if you're making like a dark build, that would be useful for you. Uh, unless, of course, you, you get time in the game, where you're able to win, use weapons of darkness. Uh, but this knight, he, he can be a bit of a pain um, if, you get, if you get hit by like, a an attack. And because that other enemy was there, it made it a little bit harder. Yeah. And because I'm using my hollow slayer greatsword, it didn't make it very easy. Now there, when I did that weird swing, that was a uh, one of my um, special attacks I can use, where I like go into a stance and like I press the light attack button. I do that, which is sort of like a I I. I I don't really break an enemy. Oh, I do break an enemy's guard. Like the way I, I mean, slice. I haven't broken typing probably. I just saw but, um, 20 he, he, He's a pretty tough enemy. Well, I I that. And there I kicked that enemy on accident. Because, like, kicking is only useful against enemies with shields. Because like, if you kick through an enemy's shield, you can then like, get a critical hit. Which does lots of damage. And when I say lots, I mean you can get easily, like a couple of hundred with it. Because like, I'm sure if I did it with that great axe of mine, it would easily do easily about. It would easily do about 800 damage. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised with the fact that I'm able to keep my um, Ember form because, like, when I first played the game, I died by almost everything. And the reason for that is because, like, A, I wasn't ready really to the game since how it was the first time I played it, and B, my stats were not very good. But then, um, this isn't, like, the first um, Dark Souls game I played. Because I did play Demon Souls, which is the game that came out before Dark Souls 1. And it's got the same mechanics, it just didn't have things like the Estus Flasks or the Bonfire that had like a different way of travelling. It was very similar, but since how it came out before, like uh, Demon Souls, no Dark Souls 1 even, it was like very much the core of what the Dark Souls franchise is now. And like even games like Bloodborne are very similar to Dark Souls. As it also uses the mechanic of killing enemies, taking their souls, stuff like that. And here I am also starting a new recording session. So just give me a moment, and there we go. You just saw the, the clouds sort of half. Exactly the clouds move, since how I saw like the clouds half shutter and move a bit. 
And that occasionally, like, I'll if you do move a bit too quickly so when he is around, you can actually get him to come back up in here, Basically, and then you'll have to fight him again. But well, I'm not really, I'm not really too into fighting him, seeing how he, he he's pretty powerful. Oh, that was an arrow. That, that was a throwing knife, not an arrow. We didn't even have a bow. And that, that was a powerful hit because like backstabs and um, uh, and like doing front stabs where you like kick the shield for example of an enemy and like they sort of go into like a half stutter phase where yeah, you can just destroy them. It's like it's like the strongest thing you'll ever be able to do in the game along with like the drop hits. Which is why like builds that are able to do like heavy damage through those are like will be like really effective. And he 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 blew himself up and me up. Because like when I first came down here like, in my first run through, he he blew up like a large cluster of bar uh, those explosive barrels which one shot me. Admittedly I didn't have anywhere near as much health, but it still just destroyed my health. And I'm just probably checking the time again. But um, just give me a minute. And Thank you. what the hell? Okay, no, okay. Now we, now we're getting the back. Whoa. But um, if you look into the bottom right, you can see the number of souls I have. And from what I can tell, I've got like thirty thousand. And that just went up to, like thirty thousand six hundred or something. Six hundred seventeen, I think. You know what I mean? And now this this guy, he's not an enemy. He's actually an NPC. But you need to find the key to it. Key to his cell. Which you do find I'm in the High World of Glass, right? It's just like a bit more. Sorry. Um, <laughs> in the pathway that you need to sort of take. But um, those knights, those aren't like the only knights. Because like there are other knights with spears. Spears? Yeah, spears. Yeah, it is spears. Yeah, I'm questioning myself now. But um, those ones have got like those great shields, which have got like much larger shields, no, I was like, because as I said, like, you can block, uh, you can hit with like, um, while discarding your shields. Now here we have like um, a bit of further part of Locker, um, High Wall of Locker, where there is another dead dragon, and I swear, like, there are still more people praying to the dragons, it's like the dragons were some godly being. I feel they are in some form of lore. But I don't think that's going very well. And this is what I meant by some hollow turn into a big black man with like, scary things. Like, they just sort of... I don't even know what happened to them. I just, I just dropped down just to get away from it. I mean, I'm not even close to it. And you can just see, like, it's, it's very snake-like. And very creepy. But, and that's also, like, the reason why I switched to um, my great axe. Because, like, much, like, lots of damage are useful against them. So you don't want to go head on onto them. Because, like, they are very powerful. And they can hit, like, a lot. Within, like, a short space of time. Which is why you sort of want to try and get behind them. So I do, I do that once I like get rid of this Because I know it's uh, possible to use your internet history from one computer and have yeah, that there. Like, there's there's right. small crystal lizards, they give you um, gems you can to either reinforce weapons and piece weapons. And so I come up behind it and pull out the strongest attack of its size. It's like a thousand more damage or something like that. And I, I just kill it so easily and I get like a Tyanite shard and an ember. So like that was like pretty worth it since our embers are so useful in this game because like there are certain things which you can which you need which you can only do whilst in ember form and at the moment like when he shot me i just realized he was there so i was like uh screw you and this is when like i try out um a weapon i get from another boss uh, I think this is like a Farron Greatsword or something. I don't actually remember which one it is. I know it's um the weapon of I know, it's not the Farron Greatsword. I don't remember what it is called. But it's 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 decent. But I thought it swung faster than it did. This is why I'm actually around it. Now this is where I muck up because I do its special attack and it just sends me flying down the hole. And that's like my first death is by me being an idiot. That was my first death. And I will be counting. Um, I will be having a, a death counter like in one of the corners of the screen and so it will just keep track of how many deaths I've had because I won't remember but um, since I, this, this, um, that bonfire was the last one I rested at I have to go back there and then I have to go all the way back through again I have to go like all the way back through all those enemies again and I'm pretty sure I just like literally it's like nah I ain't doing this and just run through everything I just run through it all 
Like, this enemy, I do kill it, I do feel like the odd enemy, just because, like, they're there. And like, I just land on him, just like, no, screw you. And I'm, I'm sure if I were to look carefully enough, I could probably work out what on earth these things are trying to. Oh, yep, yeah, and again, I didn't kill it fast enough, and it hit me, and you saw the amount of damage it did in one hit. And it's just like, ah, no thanks. And like, they're so big and so powerful, they just destroy, like, the breakable parts of the terrain so easily. Now, this sword isn't really the strongest, but it's probably, like, a, a decent hitting attack. Like, the way I did that, it allowed me to hit, like, it allowed me to hit two of them at once. And here, you saw, like, I almost died. But, like, I was just, like, I still had health. I had enough health to, like, just pull off a final hit. And, like, my S does, does heal a fair amount since I had to plus 10 because of all the undead bone shards. And I also have a ring which um, boosts now Estus, like, uh, the Estus heals me, so. Like, heals me. So, like, it, it does a lot, but it's just, like, not enough to get me to full HP. So, I've been just, like, just, like, I have a thousand health at the moment. It usually does, like, 800 health. Like, it heals, like, 800 for me. And, like, that's decent, but it's still just, like. <laughs> But like, um, right, I'm um, like nine times out of ten. Whenever I'm trying to hit something, I always manage to kick them. So it's like, god oh, damn it! Like the kicking mechanic is really actually quite useful, but it's just gets in your way so many times. But um, you might have noticed that um, with New Game Plus, there are some soul, like some soul items, like and you like you put them in your bottom thing where my Estus is, and like you can use them to gain more souls. But there are some of those like, soul items which didn't appear in like the first game, like, uh, like in, uh, when you first run through the game. Mm. So like, there are better rewards if you do New Game Plus, which will then obviously I think also occur in like New Game Plus two, three, up to, like God knows what. But like I don't know whether it will keep on changing or whether it will just stay the same after you've done like the one New Game Plus. But that, that was the um, knight with the spear and the large shield which I was talking to you about. And he gave me his um, armor piece even though I have like another two in storage. But um, here is an, is an item which is fairly useful if you, if you um, know what it does because it's like a green blossom. And the green blossoms increase your stamina recovery time. So that way you like, you say you're using the weapon which I'm using which drains a lot of stamina. It then allows you to heal like recover your stamina so much easier than before but that enemy was sort of half hiding so that you, like you had to just know that he was there and that I just picked up a broadsword there and um broadswords are useful for like um new like for first run throughs as it does like it's mostly slash attacks like even its strong attack is a slash attack now I switched to um these twin blades which I got from a boss but they aren't the best of attack of um weapons because they they're fast, but they don't do a lot of damage. So, like, if you know how to use them, it's useful. But I'm not really one for fast attacks. I'm one for hard hitting attacks. So there, that was like a fully charged, um, strong attack. Yeah, it still didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped it would have. Which is why I prefer things like the um, grey axe to have. Now, if you look down there, you can actually see that one of those dogs is like a dog is a dog can quite clearly see me, and even that large dude. And like, I managed to almost kill him. Like, I, oh yeah, I did basically heal him, seeing as how, um, that drop attack. I didn't quite hit him straight on, because, like, I managed to, like, fling myself off something. But I did fair damage. And, um, for those of you who are doing, like, this first one through, on that anvil there, at least I think it's an anvil, is an Estus Shard. And I can't actually use the Estus Shard, seeing as how, um, I've got all 15, um, uh, can, like, oh, yeah, but, yeah. So wait, that, that happened, that, that was painful when I did that. Like, I was like, I got, I completely forgot about the one with the halberd. So like, I was just wrecking the other one. And I was like, oh god, I was on really a help. So I just tried to dodge out the way of everything, but I still get hit. But as I was saying about Estuses, um, I've got as many uh, drinks that I can have at the moment. At least in the game, because 15 is the max. And a plus 10 is the maximum as well. So like, you could say, go through, um your first gameplay and like only have um 10 drinks but if you were to go to new game plus and like you get five more you didn't just be able to go back you'd be able to go up to 15 really easily and now this is like the only time where i kill that dude quick enough so he doesn't turn into that icky gooey crap and then like i just overkill him and back down 
But when I got killed, but we were getting killed by that hollow with the hardwood when trying to kill that great axe hollow. It was just like, oh my god. It was just sort of like one of those things you wish didn't happen. Because it just like felt so cheap as you're like, you're dodging loads and then you're still like, nah, I'm still just gonna hit you. Like, bang. Because like dodging, it's not obviously 100% you're gonna avoid the attack. Which is like a case of like you've got a 90% chance to dodge the attack. I don't actually know if that's alright or not, I'm just making this sort of crap up. But it's like a high chance of dodging. So it's just like it really sucks and I like just don't get it. With, with, with like that great axe of mine, if I fully charge a strong attack and hit an enemy with it, it just kills them so quickly. Like you saw that Lothric Knight. He just got killed by two hits and it's just like overpowered all lot and I'm just like, oh my god. Since I died here, I obviously have to recollect my souls, because if I die again, I will give you have to get those souls back. And since I have, like, I don't actually know how many souls I have on me, but, like, I think I have on that blood stain like, 30,000. Something like that. Uh, well, um, what I'm doing to do here is, like, I was checking to see if I had any pyromancy, like, um, my pyromancy hand on me, but since I didn't, I had to just go in with my axe only. And now that dog is trying to get, like, a piece of me. So, like, I'm just trying to kill him, and then, like, the dog just comes in, like, I'm trying to kill this dude and you're just interrupting me. And then I'm getting bombed from above by like this dude, dude with fire bombs. And like, I can't quite hit the dog because how fast it is, so I'm like running outside just to heal myself and now I'm so low in health. And like, the dog just comes out with me. I kill the dog. Almost. Oh, there we go. But like, I finally kill the dog and then like, I look down there. I turn the camera. And then that big guy with that massive axe is just staring at me. It's like, I'm going to get you. And I'm just like, oh my god. Like, he's, he's like, he's like, he's so like, his armor has like, a, like, his helmet has this really weird face on it. So it's just like, it just adds to the creep level. But I swear to God, that guy who's bombing me from above, it's just like, it's so annoying. It's like, if you get hit by the explosive barrel, it's just like, it's so much damage done to you. But like, I got the, um, I got that hollow great axe. Now, I won't count on using that great axe in how my, um, my Dragon Slayer Great Axe is so much better. But, um, you can't actually get Dragon Slayer Great Axe until, like, you defeat a certain boss in, um, the game. But once you do, you can get that axe or a shield. And it's just, like, I would recommend the axe. Because, like, the axe is just, like, so powerful. And now, if you saw there, I got a key. And that key was the, um, cell key. Which opens up the cell of, um, that of the guy who was trapped in there. And I didn't see the Zion first away. I had, like, come back to find it and it's just, it was just a soul item but it's still just like more souls is like better and like i just plow through these enemies with my axe so i don't see why i didn't do this the first time somehow i just like hit hit oh i missed like it's a case of i'm I, oh yeah i'm getting hit alone like i just roll out the way heal up and just come back in wrecked wrecked it's just like oh my god <laughs> Now this ladder is fairly tall, so like, I would just like, I wouldn't drop down it because you'd probably die, so that, uh, you just like, you slide down it. Kill him. Kill the guys who are trying to climb up, because a lot of enemies do that. And it's just like, why do you, like, why are you just hanging there? Like, what if you lost your grip and whoops, died? Now he, he's got so much reach, it's like, it's massive. So like, if you manage to hit him, you're then basically just got him into a stage of like, oh, help me kind of thing. Like, I had killed him, like, with a backstab, and then, like, a strong yeah. attack. I'm like, he has a few embers around him. So it's just like, well, he's, yeah, he has, like, um, a few ember items around him. And it's like, he's got some actual fires around him. Like, what actually happened here, I don't actually know. Because, like, there's loads of dead knights, fires everywhere. It's just, like, it's all really quite weird. And, like, there's a rapier. I don't, I don't, I don't really use rapiers. I don't even know how they use, I don't even know how they use, I don't even know how they work, you know, I never really use them in Demon Souls or Dark Souls. Because Dark Souls is very, like, it's, 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 it's Dark Souls, just an older Dark Souls. But, um, up here is another archer. Well, it's not really an archer, it's a crossbowman. I don't know, would that count as an archer? I'm pretty sure that would count as an archer. I don't know, I'm just rambling to myself now, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But, um, there's one of those new soul items, you know, how it said, like, the soul of a, of some form of paladin and like that was never in the first one since how i'm pretty sure the best one was like some desecrated knight or something like that don't quote me on this since how i don't remember since how um uh when i actually used those soul items it had it was like um it was a, a like 
a couple days ago and um, many hours of Dark Souls ago. Now this lift is a very useful lift. I say, Emily, it's a very small, compact lift, so like only one or two people can get on it at a time. But it opens this door, and this door is an area that we were in not too long ago. Oh, yeah, there, there, there's the axe guy. <laughs> that was um, there. Like that's that that uh, that that shortcut leads to um the first bonfire, which then means that you can just go from that first bonfire and come all the way down to like. Want like some of the last parts of the High Wall of Glossary. Seems how I'm win. Seems how I'm nearing the boss at this point in time. I'm not going to tell you the boss is because that'd just be. Hmm. For those of you who do know that, who, who do know what this boss is, and like, I you mean, I don't, I don't. You know what it is, but those who don't, I just like they're in for a bit of a surprise. But there are. Uh, there, there's he. I didn't see him when I first went up there. So just like when he when he just suddenly appeared, I was like, oh okay, bang, dead. But um, here, here are these um pilgrims that I was talking about earlier. Although I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't know. I just remembered something talking about pilgrims. Wow. I'm an idiot, I know. Yeah, I don't remember. But he gives me a, a he I don't know why, but he gave me a crossbow even though he clearly didn't have a crossbow either with him or on him. But he he clearly wasn't using it and it's not like he clearly had it like on him. Like as if like it was just like a decorative thing. You know, there are a few knights around here. There's, there's like four in total. Like there's these, there's two of them with a sword. There's two of them with those swords. One of them with um, a lance, no spear, not a lance. Is that? No, no, it's a spear. And then like there's another one, which has also got um, a sword, yeah. but it's not the same as those ones. And it's like um, his mat, like um, the face part on the um, armor has been lifted up. So like he's still wearing the helmet. It's just like you can actually see his face. And, um, oh, what's she saying? Hi, priestess of Lothric Castle. I am, uh, good to see you. Allow me to speak frankly. Well, then hurry up. You'll find, you'll not find the Lord here. They've left, gone. Yeah, they've gone home. They've all gone to where they, um, used to be. Well, they, where they live. I'm going to assume before they came, became Lords of Cinders. I don't actually know. But, um, you basically have to leave Lothric Castle for ages. And I mean, like, you just, you don't come back here for a good number of hours. And she gives you this banner. And then, like, that banner is useful after killing the boss. The dog keeps close on things. Oh, yeah. The Vile Watchdog of the Boreal Valley. It's, that's, that's basically just like, it's giving you a sort of hint what the boss is. As, like, she said, Boreal Valley. And for those of you who know what the Boreal Valley is, you'll know how, like, how much that means to this boss. Oh, and as I was saying about the knights, this knight hasn't got, like, he's still got his helmet on, but, like, the faceplate is, the face plate has been lifted off. So you, like, you can see his eyes and like his face, and like he's wearing a blue cape instead of a red one. And this, ba I'm gonna assume it basically means like he's a higher rank of knight, and he is a hell of a lot stronger. Like he does loads of damage really quickly. So I just like I sort of just like um go run away to sort of recover my strength. And like you can just see that like he's enchanted with sword with light art with light attacks. But you can see that like even though he is stronger, I still go through him relatively easily. Oh, and then there I thought he um, still had that on. But now I've done all this, I'm uh, heading to the boss fight. But if you were Embered, I have feeling... I don't know if this is true about this area or not, but you can get invaded by dark spirits. Are like, are like, they're events that are supposed to take place. Because, like, dark spirits tend to be a thing with, like, the multiplayer, which um, I'm not doing. Because, like, technically, in the early of the game, the whatever. Because, like, I'm 15 instead of, like, 16. So it's just, like... Mm. But, um, the Dark Spirits, um, they can come, um, they, they can come occasionally. But there was one spirit which I found, like, it was a mad spirit in a later area. But, like, it was one of those things that you, like, you had to summon as if it was, like, an actual, like, player who'd left their mark, like, to duel with you or something like that. But now we get into the boss fight. It's a magical portal to God knows where. But I'm going. I I am not going through the portal. It's a very like snowy, icy portal there, like thing. But he comes out of the portal, and like if you have a look at his mace, you can see like it's sort of like it has like this cold effect, as like he's from an area in the game which is like very cold. Now this boss fight 
it's really not too difficult. As long as you know when to dodge and you know where his you blind spot is, blind you're set. It's like, um, he, he, he mostly swings in front of him. So like, if you're able to get behind him, you're, you're like set for a good couple of hits. I almost got crushed there. Um, you know, he is very icy and if you get hit too much, he does inflict frostbite like there. You can see the frostbite meter already there. And if he gets full, I'm like properly frostbitten. And there's another hit. And I dodge that. But I'm, I'm just literally just going for the back to get like a really powerful hit in. Cause like once I did get that hit in, he then goes right like, into his second stage, which is then like he becomes much angrier and much more frosty. And like you can see the amount he's charging at me. I mistimed that roll, roll and I paid the price of taking loads of damage. But you can see like he's gotten that much angrier that he's now breathing frost from his mouth. And, like you didn't quite get to see it. But his eyes like, had actually gotten blue pupils. So it was just like, that's just showing like development of bosses. And that's another boss down with its soul collected. Ember restored. And the bonfire is lit. And now that door is actually opening. Like, yeah, there, yeah, there you go. But like, I travel back to um, the shrine because like, once you get enough souls, you might as well use them. Otherwise, if you die, then you basically just lost them. As long as you know where you died and where, like, where to grab them from. But, um, I tend to always play it safe, which is, um, to, once I've gotten all the souls, go back into, um, Firelink Shrine and just use them all up. Well, I don't use them all up, I just use majority of them up to level up. And I just skip most of the dialogue. I mean, the, for newcomers, you might not have heard it before, but I've heard it, like, loads of times, because, like, I, I, like, the, get at, as a knight, you start off as level 9 at the beginning of the game, and I'm now, like, 109. So it's just like I've heard the dialogue so many times. It's just like, no. <laughs> and now I'm just putting away some stuff which I really don't need. Which is like the um, items, or well, it's the weapons. And then like I do believe I also do I I don't remember. Yeah, I do put away the weapons which I don't see me using as much. Which is basically just um, those twin swords, the sword which made me do that crazy crap. Like that twirl which killed me and that sword which I tried using against that NPC in me and now I accidentally put a weapon away which I didn't want to put away so I just try and find it again. I do find it but it's just like I've got so many weapons it's just like unreal. And now a lot of them you might see have infusions of them and the reason why they've all got infusions on them is because like I basically just put loads of infusions on weapons because like there's um, an achievement you can get for um, uh, y using are making weapons with all, with um, every kind of info, um, having a weapon with every time of fusion. So like, there's like, say, I don't even know how many infusions there are, but there's like, say, there's twelve or something like that. You then need to make twelve different weapons with twelve different infusions. So you have like fire, um, frostbite, um, curse, dark, lightning, bleed, stuff like that. But there are more gems, there's things, like, there's things like raw, heavy, sharp, it's just like, a lot of stuff. Now uh, here, now that I've got that key, I'm actually going back here to go um, open up the cell to that, to, um, that man who was actually um, in prison. And the reason why he was in prison is because, surprise surprise, he was a thief. <laughs> that just answers everything as to why he was imprisoned. <laughs> it's like, thief, yeah, that makes sense. And the loading can take its time, but it gets here eventually. Yeah, like, after like you get like two of those large messages about items, like two or three, it's, it's then gone. So you don't have to um, spend too much time reading. Um, but like the messages can tend like for certain items, it does repeat a fair number of times. Now, now I remember to actually um, use pyromancy. I did actually equip my uh, pyromancy hand, although I do end up changing uh, what pyromancy I have. Because, like, Fire Surge, not really the best. I, just, I tried using it against one of the later boss fights in the um, game, but I didn't actually end up using it, because I ended up using this great axe instead. Like, um, you might you might not know what the boss fight is, so it's, it's like, um, for those of you who do know that, I used that great axe um, against the um, Nameless King. And, like, I'm sure for those of you who don't know, then that probably just means nothing. For those of you who have like actually fought him, you'll be like, "Oh wow, really? You've actually managed to do that?" Unless, of course, you've already seen it happen, in which case you're not probably you're not very surprised. But like, I'm, I, I am, because it was very difficult. It took me so many attempts. Ah, you know, like, are you? 
Oh no, you're from far away, and judging by the bell, you must be some of that on Kindle's ash. So he, he, he basically, he knows who I am. Oh, remarkable, if that's true, then I have a favour to ask. And like, he wants you to do something, which is to deliver a ring to somebody. But I won't really tell you too much about that. But the ring is fairly useful since I'm pretty sure it increases, like, um, the blue tier stone ring he gives you increases the defense, like your defense, when your health is low. Now that could be useful, but it's also not the best of things since I'm having low health. Nine times out of ten is the recipe for disaster. And he's basically saying, if you do this thing, which I want, if you do this thing for me, I'll repay the debt by doing stuff for you. And he becomes a merchant in Firelink once, like, like, once he goes back to Firelink, he then becomes a merchant and, like, stuff happens once, like, you tell him, or once you, um, tell him something. I'm not going to tell you, because now I'm just going to be sneaky, sneaky spoilers. Uh, so yeah, he's just saying, if you do your part, I'll deliver the ring, I'll do my part, and be useful for you. And so at this point, I then just return to the last bonfire restaurant because I'm planning on going on to the next area of the game. Although I don't think I do it quite in this episode, so you'll just have to stay for the next. Although I might be wrong. Either way, I'm not going to do too much more, because I've only got like a few minutes after the recording. So once it loads... Hi, will it through? And then we travel back to Vort of the Boreal Valley, which was the boss's name. Vort. It's an odd name. Spelled V-O-R-D-T. Vort. Vort. Vort is a... I don't know. And then Boreal Valley. Yeah. Boreal Valley. Um, it's, it's a later area in the game. Very snowy. Very pretty. I quite like it. There are many areas in this game which are, like, very pretty. Because um, there is one area later on, which is just like the sun shines through the trees and like goes onto water, and it's just like it looks amazing. I'm not, I, I don't understand, like, I don't, there's nothing really wrong with talking about that, but I wouldn't really expect myself to talk about that. But um, I'm running out of time, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.